It's the Young Turks 14 years. Welcome back. You're watching Young Turks. On the show today, we've been putting the spotlight on eight innovators under the age of 35 who made it to the MIT Technology Reviews list of global innovators. Now, amidst all these startup founders and research professionals, there are two campus entrepreneurs who've made it to the final list, and here's a look at their story. 20-year-old Rupam Sharma is a student researcher at Manav Rachna Innovation and Incubation Center in Faridabad. His innovation, Manaview, helps to replace Braille. That's right, this multi-utility wearable device can be used to help a visually impaired person move around in a complex environment and even scan textbooks to hear the recognized words synthesized to audible speech. Manaview can be used through an application which is synced with your personal assistant technology on smartphones. Shivani Gupta is a research scholar from Bitspilani Hyderabad campus whose innovation, White Biotic, is an ultra-rapid test for determining antibiotic sensitivity in urinary tract infections. Reducing the urine culture testing time from 48 hours to 4 hours, White Biotic is today faster and a better treatment of UTI than the current crop of tests available. We've had a chance to speak to Rupam on Young Turks previously. But I'm curious to ask uh, both of you, you know, one, you're with Bits Pilani, you're with Manav Rachna University and both these universities have a very active entrepreneurship cell. Was that one of the reasons why um, you decided to enroll into these universities in the first place? Shivani, let's start with you. So we started it as a research project, but as we continued doing research, we saw that we are having a good product in hand, which is having commercial value as well as social value in the medical field. Mm. So we continued with that and we end up having a research diagnostic device out, out of a research project. So and then university promoted this. We have a technology business incubator at Bits Pilani, mm. so which promotes taking this um, innovations for commercialization. So we are nearby commercialization very soon. Right, so while you started with the idea of innovating and then stumbled upon a commercial project, you actually got onto your innovation cell or your entrepreneurship cell in the third year of your program. So I actually was the head of the fashion club in my college. So the innovation center is to like fashion to, to innovation. Okay, a complete shift. Yeah. Right. So innovation center is like a really like where all the people go and like who want to do something really cool. And so I just like randomly went there one day and like I just met a person. So he just talked to me and like he really inspired me that day. So he told me like you've got something in you which you can use to like you know he said like you can change the world. A UTI test uh, was something that you came up with. So what inspired you to start the research in the first place? So first thing is I'm from a biotechnology background as such. So I never wanted to do a just a basic research and publishing paper which are of no use. Mm -hmm. I always wanted to do some research in the field where we have some product or some valuable end result. Mm -hmm. So we started working on this project and when we were at a stage that we could develop a test which was faster as compared to the available test and then we went for a trial to a hospital. We could see that spark in every technician's eye. Oh, can it do it? They were not ready to believe at the first time. And there is no such test that's available world over? Worldwide. Okay. No such test available. Okay. Still the fastest tests which are available, they still take minimum of 18 hours or so. Alright, you know, we've just gone over this idea, whereas what you're doing is making a wearable for the visually impaired and uh, what inspired you to start that? Was it some personal instance or, you know, you just spotted an idea and you decided to go ahead and also tell us more about this device. I like just had this profound moment in my class. I was just sitting in my class. I had this thought like, how it could feel like if you are not able to see anything. It's been like 200 years since something for the visually impaired was innovated, uh, invented which helped them with like literacy. So the last thing was Braille and it was like developed in the 18th century. So I then like started researching on this and then I visited the blind schools in Delhi and NCR. I stayed there for 15 days. I interacted with people all across and I understood their problems, like what all problems they faced. Alright, you know now I am very curious to ask this, like when I was a student I barely managed to make it to class on time mm -hmm. and here you are, you know, going to class, attending, doing your academics and managing it with now a venture and a viable product. Mm -hmm. So how exactly are you able to balance that? So it doesn't really matter like what grades you get but if you are impacting a billion or a billion lives, that is like a lifetime achievement. So this is like, this is what like consoles me if I am not getting good grades or if I am not attending classes 
But yes, if you are making an I don't know whether we are balancing it well or not. Sometimes we are also late. We have to rush between the class or the tutorial section or the incubation center. Mm -hmm. But somehow when you see the results coming and yeah. you see that you are able to make that difference, it motivates you. It, it makes you to do that things. Well, that was indeed a very good mix of innovators. And the best part is there are no winners or losers. And as always, we wish them the very best of luck. With that, it's a wrap on this very special edition of Young Turks. Do feel free to reach out to us. You can write to us at youngturks at network18online.com. You can also Facebook or tweet us. We love hearing from you. Thanks very much for watching. The Young Turks 14 years.